glad you've joined us here on the Frenzy Highlight Show. I'm Danny. He's Kevin. Mm -hmm. Jenna will join us in just a moment. It's week nine of the high school football season. Yeah, crazy to think, but we are to the stretch run as teams sort of look towards the playoff. Just two more weeks of action to decide conference championships. All right, let's kick things off with our frenzy game of the week. It is High Point Christian trying to keep its perfect record alive. Yeah, the Cougars at home hosting a good Hickory Grove Christian school out of the Charlotte area. And High Point Christian, oh, they were good all night long. They gave the rock to Jalen Moore early and often. Moore turns a corner. He's going to break off this run for 25 big yards. We move to the first play of the second quarter. The Cougars get on the board. David Green with that powerful leg boots it through. Three to nothing lead there. Then the High Point Christian defense on third and one. Michael Russell, Josh Smith breaking through for the loss. And here come the Cougars. Quarterback Tyler Ely to tight end Campbell Throckmorton for the first down. And next play, who you going to call? Mr. Moore right up the middle. Great block in there. High Point Christian wins it 41 to nothing to improve to 8 0. Unbeaten East Forsyth has had only one close game. That was a couple weeks ago when they edged Tabor by 7. All right, tonight the Eagles looking for a dominating win over Reynolds. The Demons trying to stay in the playoff picture. East Forsyth was gambling on offense from the start of the game. Here with the fake punt, Jalen. Murray catches the pass, picks up the first down for the Eagles. Then Kenan Rottweiler, he carves his way through the Reynolds defense. 20 yards for the score, 8 to nothing. East on top. Eagles back on offense. Bryce Baker with a little toss to Jalen Murray, and he rambles down the sideline, taking it inside the 10-yard line. Eagles cap off the drive with Baker hitting Jair Richburg in the end zone for the score. Final in this one, East for Sight 61, Reynolds 14. Well, Randleman knows it's coming up on their schedule. It's the regular season finale against an undefeated Eastern Randolph. But the Tigers know they also can't get ahead of themselves. So it's all about focusing on one game at a time. And tonight, that's a road trip to Southwestern Randolph. Well, the Tigers are in possession here. John Kirkpatrick fakes the handoff, and instead he keeps it for himself. He carries the rock all the way to the Southwestern 31-yard line. Big gain there, and that'll move the chains for Randall. In the very next play here, Kirkpatrick with the quick pass to Tyshawn Goldston. The Cougars' defense creates a wall, but that doesn't phase the senior. He takes it across the field and down the sideline for a Tigers touchdown. It's a 7-0 game very early on. This is Randleman's very next possession. Goldston in shotgun fakes the handoff, but he takes batters into his own hands. He hits the gas and is gone. A missed PAT after this one makes it a 13-0 ball game, but Randleman stays dominant all night long, taking this one 34-14 over Southwestern Randolph. Oak Grove on a five-game win streak and looking to extend it at home tonight against Ledford. Tristan Styers gets the ball here. He fakes the handoff, and instead he's looking downfield, hits Sam Bennett, escapes a couple tackles, walks right into the end zone. Grizzlies leading 10-0. Ledford, though, has an answer. Very next possession, Kaysen Phillips gets Tyson Chavis down the middle for a first down in the red zone. A couple plays later, handoffs to Dalen McLendon, and he dives into the end zone for the Ledford score. A three-point game here, but that doesn't last very long. Carson Williams carries the rock 60 yards to the house, and Oak Grove just keeps on adding. The Grizzlies dominate tonight, winning big 58-21 over Ledford. Northern Guilford Nighthawks, the defense is really tough. The offense can keep the ball on long drives. Northern trying to stay unbeaten as they host Page High tonight. And this was a wild, wild game. Page in control in the first half. Zamari Williams to Nathan Moore. This is going to be a 26-yard touchdown for the Pirates. Now Northern with the ball. The throw over the middle. Oh, it's picked off by Marquis Lynch. And look at him go right through the... Defenders there, 47 yards to the end zone. Pick six. The Nighthawks rally in the fourth. Running back to Whitehall. He takes it in for the touchdown. We have a ball game to the end. 24 all, last play of the game. Kobe Guidado from 27 yards out and a walk-off win for the Nighthawks. They take it over Page, the final 27-24.
All right, it looks like the Mid-Carolina 1A, 2A conference race will come down to three teams, Southeast Alamance and the two teams meeting tonight, Cummings and Northwood. The Cavaliers enter this game on a five-game winning streak. Northwood strikes first. This is the first pass play of the game. Grayson Cox up top to Bo Harvey in stride, 66 yards for the score, 7-0 Chargers in front. Now Cummings, they answer right back. Watch this play right here. It is a direct snap to Devin Witherspoon. He's going to get to the edge and then show off his speed. 57 yards for the touchdown, and the game is tied at seven. Now in the second quarter, Northwood, they're gonna, they're gonna keep it on the ground. Robert Tripp, he scores from seven yards out to give Northwood a 14 to seven lead. Cummings, however, comes back with 28 points in the fourth quarter to win it 49-28, the final. Cummings now seven and one on the season. Walkertown Wolfpack looking good tonight against Reedsville. Let's go to the first quarter action. Walkertown's quarterback, Santana Garcia, over the middle. Trent Curry there for the touchdown. Wolfpack up eight to nothing. Second quarter, Reedsville coming right back. Jerry Cobb, he finds the end zone from four yards. It's out. A game is tied up at eight. Reedsville defense, check this out. Kendra Harrison just smashes the quarterback, recovers the fumble and the Rams. Take over on offense. Inside the five yard line now, Jerry O'Cobb up the middle. Touchdown Rams. They take the lead. And just seconds to play before the half. Walker Town. They go, they go for it on fourth down. Garcia to Curry. And this is a touchdown. Walker Town actually had the lead, but Reedsville, they rally again. 41 26. The Rams stay in. We still have some more highlights coming your way here on the Frenzy. A Guilford County battle against Southern and Eastern, plus North Davidson taking on Ashboro. But first, it's the cheer of the night from Eastern Guilford. We got a dead body. Critics are calling murder in a small town fantastic. Duty call. And this Tuesday. Highway 41 in 20 minutes. He's gonna kill her. You see your face right now. Where are you? Murder in a small town, Tuesday at 8, followed by accused on Fox. A flood of illegals, skyrocketing prices, global chaos, and Kamala wouldn't change a thing. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. Nothing will change with Kamala. More weakness, more war, more welfare for illegals, and even more taxes. Only President Trump cut middle class taxes, and only President Trump will do it again. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Kaden, how was your day? When we began our journey as foster parents, we knew it wouldn't always be easy. The children seem so distant. We just feel like there's more that we could be doing for them. You long have done a great job. Sometimes these things just take time. But Children's Home Society of North Carolina was with us every step of the way. That's a pretty color. <laughs> Dinner. Hayden, how was your day? It was great. I aced my test. Nice. Be a foster parent. It's worth it. We at Maury Disability Law understand the difficulties of living with disability. I practiced Social Security Law for 30 years and then I had this unfortunate horse accident and I fought the same battles that you're fighting right now. Living with a disability is hard enough. Securing benefits shouldn't be. Visit us in Greensboro for a free consultation. We want to help you. Some classics never go out of style. Get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit with crispy bow rounds and a hot coffee or medium drink for $5.99. Order in the app or at Bojangles. It's bow time. Ah! Fall is here. Plan for the cold weather. 
Get your heating maintenance scheduled today. Central Carolina Air Conditioning is offering a $69 heating maintenance when you schedule by October 31st. Regular maintenance ensures your system is running at peak efficiency, prevents costly breakdowns, and extends the life of your equipment. The sooner you call, the more you save. Schedule by October 31st and get your HVAC maintenance for just $69. Stay warm this winter. Contact Central Carolina today. I'm Kevin Conley. Thanks for watching Fox 8. Start local. Stay local. Things started out great for T.W. Andrews with three straight victories, but then they dropped four in a row. Yeah, the Red Raiders looking to get back to their winning ways tonight as they hosted North Forsyth. Let's see what happened. Vikings come in three and five. First quarter, it's North Forsyth quarterback Amari Mitchell. He's going to keep, get around the right end. And he's going to score. In the second quarter, we go. Andrews facing a fourth and ten. They go for it. Quarterback David Hill hits Adam Reed. First down at the five, but in four plays, the Ra Raiders could not punch it in. Here come the Vikings. Eric Archie Jr. He's off to the races. Archie picking up 45 big yards. And then the very next play, Karan Lindsay gets the call. He's going to find the end zone north for Scythe. Good win tonight, 27-0 over Andrews. All right, our next stop, Gibsonville. Eastern Guilford hosting Southern Guilford tonight. Pick up the action in the third quarter. Oh! Javion Legette with a perfect pass down the middle of the field to Stephen Murray, who races into the end zone 67 yards on the play. 28-0 Wildcats in front. Now the high snap, but watch Chris Simmons from Southern. He's going to make something out of nothing to keep the drive alive. But then later on that drive, Simmons back to pass. He is picked off by Desarion Daughtry, who has a really nice return, and the Wildcats were in business. Start of the fourth quarter, Majette to the air, and he's going to find DJ Parker. The Wildcats improved to 5-3 and three on the season and are undefeated in conference play, 35-0 is the score, at least the last score we had in that game. Well, we've got a mid-Piedmont 3A showdown for you tonight. It's Ashboro hosting North Davidson. Let's pick things up just before the half. A couple seconds left here. Third and goal for the Black Knights. Ethan Pickle connects with Ryan Forrest in the end zone for a North Davidson score, and they'll take the 14-10 lead at the break. Third quarter now, Ashboro driving. Logan Laughlin hits Aiden Robinson inside the 15. But the senior, he doesn't settle there. He barrels himself into the end zone, and that'll seal the deal for the Blue Comets. Ashboro wins 17-14 at home, and that'll pick up their first conference win over North Davidson. Well, we also had some ACC football tonight. Duke hosting Florida State. Yeah, Duke's offense was not very good tonight at all, but their defense made a huge play here. First quarter, Chandler Rivers picks. And he's going to race at 36 yards for the Blue Devils touchdown. All right, the kickoff to start the second half. Watch Florida State's Samuel Singletary from the five up the middle and see you later. 95 yards for the Seminoles touchdown right there. Duke's defense made some key stops late as they hold on to win it. 23-16 the final. Folks, the Duke Blue Devils, 6-1. Yeah. and one. Florida State just wow. one and six Crazy. on the season. Good for them. Good yeah. for Manny Diaz, yeah, too, right? Go. First year head coach. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching the frenzy. Just two more weeks of action before the playoffs begin. So let's continue with our late night news.